Hello fellow Mega Tennis. Some of you guys have asked me and wondered to yourselves probably, how does LaRue get the things he do get? And I'm going to answer that to the best of my ability today. This is LaRue's Declassified Import Survival Guide. It's just a fancy way of saying I'm going to explain to you how I import things from Japan. So in this guide I'm basically going over just how I did it with Bai but there's a couple of other resources that you can try. I'm gonna list the ones that I've tried personally that I like, and I will also list some websites that you can shop from. So I guess to start, we have to kind of explain what I do, and really what I am doing is I'm using a proxy buyer. A proxy buyer is someone or a service who buys something on your behalf, has it shipped to them, and then they ship it from them to you. So essentially, there's like a middleman and they charge a fee for doing that both a buying fee and also you know either storage or the cost of shipping and this generally isn't a cheap thing it's not necessarily for someone who has very little money unless you're planning on ordering a very specific thing so i would highly recommend that you do your research or if something really catches your eye and you have to have it then go ahead and go for it but if you do not have the funds to do so i would not recommend using this method because this is basically a collector's game at this point so in this video i'm using mercari mercari is a reselling site not unlike mercari.com the english equivalent what i like to do is i have a bunch of keywords that i typically plug in and i'll like search to see what's there in this video you'll see that i've used kazuma kaneko and jack frost among other things just to kind of scope what's out there. It's always good to kind of give yourself a basic understanding of what the yen to your currency amounts to. It's also good to use websites like Mercari because you'll see that there's some sold listings and you can get a good idea of the general price or value of something so you don't end up spending a thousand dollars on a one hundred dollar plush so for the purposes of the video i'm going to quickly just find something that i can buy or that i want and one thing that i always tend to do is i'll use mercari's website but then i'll also check to see if it says that if it's available for my country to ship to the reason I do that is because Mercari is partnered with Bayi, one of the proxy buyers that I've mentioned. And Bayi is pretty great because essentially they're one of the biggest and therefore they tend to be the cheapest proxy buyer. Another thing to note is that when you're researching what you want to buy or even if you're just wanting to peruse certain branches of the Mega 10 series, you gotta make sure that you're using the correct terms. Typing in Persona will net you Persona things. Typing in Mega 10 or Megami Tensei will typically only show you mainline stuff, sometimes Persona, sometimes Devil Summoner, but it's never gonna show you Digital Devil Saga. You have to actually type Digital Devil Saga or Avatar Tuner to find that stuff. So you really just gotta know what you want and you know, you'll find something that way. So right here are some DX2 keychains. I've been looking for them for a while for under a thousand yen and I found them <laughs> pretty quickly. These were like TGS or Tokyo Game Show exclusives. So as you can see here, I'm just literally clicking the proceed to buy option and it's gonna give you a breakdown of the prices and fees. I usually tend to go with the top one, which is the standard that has the insurance and everything. But for these small things, especially when they're just keychains, I just opt out and that saves me like $3 basically. $3 on like a $10 thing which I think is pretty good. One thing to note is that for me, it's already auto filled out because I've done this so many times, but for you, you're gonna have to put in your address. Some countries might be excluded. I'm not sure which countries are allowed. I typically go with PayPal. Actually, I only have my PayPal attached and when you submit the payment, it just goes through pretty quickly. This is actually not immediate in the sense that you're not guaranteed to buy the product right away because they're a physical service. Someone from that company will then buy that product and you have a chance to not be able to attain that thing, which has happened to me a couple times. And it's unfortunate, but it happens. So as you can see here, they actually have like a little timeline and the timeline shows when the order was received. When it says order completed, that means they actually were able to purchase it. Sometimes it'll stop there because it won't, they won't be able to make the purchase. Obviously shipped means the person who is selling the product has shipped it to Bayi's warehouse and then arrived at warehouse just means it just arrived at the warehouse. And that's the first step. The next step can't really verbalize because really with that product, I have to wait a bit, but I'll use one of the things I have already in the warehouse. So we're gonna use this book that I have here. It's you know pretty straightforward. So one thing you gotta check is the uh, warehouse fee. So what they typically do is they'll have about 30 days of free warehouse meaning they'll house your product there for 30 days. After that, they'll charge a fee for you to keep it there. I've seen some do just a dollar a day and I've seen some do significantly more. So 
definitely want to ship it with, within your 30 days. I usually wait till I have enough product so I can ship them all together. The problem with that is that sometimes some things are more delicate than others and sometimes, you know, this doesn't happen. Generally, things like books tend to be more expensive, so I ship those as I get them. But as you'll see, when you go ahead to process your order from shipping from their warehouse to your home, after you plug in your information and stuff, you'll see a bunch of different shipping options. So they basically just come with their own goods and bads. Some ship sooner, some ship later, some aren't insured, some tend to be a little rough housed a bit. The ones I reliably will go to are either EMS or registered small package. And there's no real rhyme or reason. Registered small package generally is the cheapest always. And EMS is generally reliable and fast. And the EMS tends to be, you know, not too expensive. That's $20 to ship that. So I'm probably going to just go with the registered small package here because that's about $5. And after that, you're basically just confirming. I had to block out this screen because it had my personal information there. And then once you've confirmed that that's the price you're willing to pay, yeah, you go ahead and check out. So suffice to say, you're paying two fees. You're paying the actual package. Then you're paying the second thing, which is the shipping from their warehouse to you. And there's a bunch of fees between that. And, you know, I want to kind of elaborate further on this in the future. But so if you have any questions, leave them in the comments and then I can compile them and kind of answer as many as I can. And yeah, thanks for watching. Take care, fellow Vegatenner.